Ray-Ban sunglasses were started in 1929 when Lieutenant General John Grady suggested that pilots needed specific sunglasses to protect them from nausea and headaches as a result of, a result of the rays emitted from the sun. Um, in 1937, a prototype known as the Ray-Ban Aviator was created and then sold that following, following May. Since then, Ray-Ban has remained a, com a prominent company in the world of designer sunglasses and they're still popular today. They obviously focus on a more high-end um, audience. Their products are a little bit more expensive. Um, however, they are considering, you know, would be considered targeting a more middle-class um, audience. So that being said, they're more, um, their target age group is over 25 because that's who has jobs and can afford their product. Um, it is a luxury. Um... Overall, Ray-Ban itself does not have a specific vision or mission statement. However, uh, Luxottica, which is the company that produces the actual product, Ray-Ban is just sells them, um, does have a mission statement. It is, we at Luxottica aim at protecting the eyes and enhancing the faces of men and women all over the world by manufacturing and selling ophthalmic eyewear and sunwear characterized by their high technical and stylistic quality in order to maximize our customers' well-being and satisfaction. They have a pretty vast product line, um, both optics and sunglasses. Um, they developed campaigns such as the Never Hide and Define Yourself to promote their sunglasses and optic lines. Um, as far as their market, as far as their market strategy, um, they're definitely up to date in the technological world. Their website is sleek and sophisticated, which clearly represents their product and aligns with their overall brand. Um, Ray-Ban's good at looking what their uh, target audience is actually interested in, not just in what they want out of a product um, as a product, but what they want out of life in general. So, for example, people who wear glasses want glasses that look um, fun and cool and hip and also are durable and, you know, help them actually to see. So Ray-Ban's really been good about developing a cool optics line that also is durable and, you know, worth your money. Um, another strategy Ray-Ban incorporates is the less is more, which means that they are very artistic in their sight and they believe that you can tell a story without the excessive use of words. This allows them to create a deeper connection with their audience and make their content relatable. Overall, um, Ray-Ban's been around for over half a century and they don't seem to be going anywhere anytime soon.